watched this line this morning grow from two cars that were lined up over here starting at 5 o'clock this morning to now dozens of cars here in Fort Bend County. But they've got a great operation going here. They've got inmates out here helping to set up, hand out the cleaning supplies, and they're getting these people through the line here this morning. It's really been amazing to watch. Yesterday, we heard that they had up to a three-hour wait, which seeing how fast they're going right now, you can only imagine how many cars had to have been in line. The sheriff says they'll give you a 32-ounce bottle and a gallon of disinfectant, disinfectant, but he doesn't want Fort Bend residents to throw it away because he says if you bring it back, they'll give you a new one. If you live in Fort Bend County and want to get out of your house, coming over here to the Gus George Law Enforcement Academy and waiting in line is an option, although the line seems to be moving very, very quickly. The county did announce yesterday that they were requiring all hair and nail salons massage and tattoo parlors, spas, movie theaters, and gyms to close until April 4th. It's really a way to encourage people to stay home, except if you want to come get some disinfectant, you can sure do that. We spoke to the first guy in line this morning. He says he didn't mind waiting three hours. He got here at 5 o'clock because he tells us he has nothing else to do. That is really nice of them doing that. Uh, I really appreciate that. That's, uh, I think that's uh, doing a wonderful thing for all the people in the county. Look at what's going on. They're putting that cleaning the cleaning supplies in the trunk of your car, and you're just zipping right off. But you do have to have your ID and a signed waiver, and we have a copy of that form on our website, abc13.com. Just one more time, the address here is 1521 Eugene Hyman Circle. If you want to come out, they're going to be here every day, seven days a week, from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Live in Richmond, Micah Hatfield, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Micah, thanks.